Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and set up the browser on our PS5. Now, this does work for all the three as well as the four firmwares. The firmware that we'll be using today is 3.00. It does say permanent. What it means by that is if you go ahead and do a system update or if your system crashes and you rebuild the database, um, or if you go ahead and try to delete it, it won't delete. Um, but you can go ahead and delete it. It does delete. It's not actually permanent. Um, if you do a full system recovery, that will uh, rewrite the files and it will no longer be there. Or if you go ahead and just reverse the steps that we do today, that will uh, that will delete it as well. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Um, if we jump over to I-F-A-I-C-O-M-P-A, -I not even going to try to pronounce that, but if we jump over to the Twitter here, um, We'll just say IFA. IFA has all the files set up for us. Um, the source is John Tornbroom. But if we go ahead and just jump into the mega link here, um, we can go ahead and uh, the file that we'll be looking for, the payload that we'll be looking for is the system X in the single partition mount. Uh, it's right there. But I've already went ahead and created like a little package tool here. Um, you, I will leave a link in the description. You can download it. We'll need our, our BDJB, uh, as well as the system elf and the FTP. And then the the files that we'll be adding onto the PS5 in order for the browser to work. Um, if you go into, we'll just open up that notepad there. Uh, if you jump right into here and we open up the perimeter file here, you can see that Lethal's host is here. If you wish to change that there, if you have a different browser that you want to use, then that there is fine. Go ahead and change it and then just upload the files that way. Um, I'm going to leave it on Leafle because Leafle has the browser that we can go ahead and add any link we want to it. And I do recommend just leaving it as that. So we'll close out of there for now. And then uh, we'll go ahead and open up our image burn. First thing we need to do is burn our elf loader here. So we'll write image. And we could just drag that over. And just go ahead and hit. Now I already have data on it, so I'm just going to go ahead and say yes, overwrite it. And we'll let it go for a minute. So we'll have to do both. We'll have to do the BDJB as well as the uh, the web kit by Slurs Groby. But it uh, shouldn't take very long, and it's pretty simple to uh, get everything done here. So we'll give it a few moments here to copy. Once it starts going, it does go pretty quick. So as you can see, we are done. But it's okay. Yeah, we can close that out now. And uh, we'll jump over to the PS5. Okay, so now we're over to the PS5. First thing we'll do is jump over to our settings. We'll jump into network. Go ahead and settings. And then connect or set up internet connection. Give it a few minutes here to scan the Wi-Fi networks. Go ahead and hit options on the connection that you're connected to. And uh, it's different on 3.00. Just go ahead and select X and go into advanced settings. And if we scroll down to our DNSs, we just want to make sure that we do have Al Ziff's DNSs added in there because we will need them later for the WebKit. But uh, once you do get those in, we'll just uh, scroll up and hit back. And back again, back again, go up to connection status, view connection status, and we're gonna scroll down till we see the IP address. And we'll take note of that, minus 10.0.0.229. Put it back out of there. Now we have the IP address. We can go ahead and insert our Blu-ray disc. Now it should automatically bring you over to the media category, but you can go ahead and hit R1 and it will do the same or just uh, go over to media and we'll launch that. Give it a few minutes and we should see trigger in UAF. There we go. Trigger in UFA or UAF. Okay, 
starting to go now. What we're waiting for is the elf loader to uh, to launch here. Okay, cleaning up. And we should see it right there. So the elf loader is running on port 9020. From there, we're going to leave it just as it is, and we'll jump over to the computer. Okay, so now that we're over to the computer, we can go ahead and open up our netcat. Okay, and I already have the IP address in there, as well as the port. So we'll go ahead and open up our PS5 browser kit here. And we're going to go ahead and just drag over system elf. And then from there, we'll go ahead and hit eject payload. Should say done. And from there, we can go ahead and jump back over to the PS5. Okay, so once back over to the PS5, as you can see, it doesn't display any message with this here when the web kit pops up with a message and as well as it gives you a message indicating that it's been launched. But uh, just go ahead and hold in your PlayStation button and just hit options on the disc player. And you can go ahead and eject the disc or close it. We're going to go ahead and eject it as we won't need it anymore. And we'll go ahead and put that aside. From there, we already have all as ifs DNS is set up. So we'll go into our settings. Go into our user guide. User guide. User guide. Go ahead and just say yes. And from here, we'll go ahead and hit L2 twice. And we'll go ahead and put in the echo stretch host, which is ES7 and 1 dot site. And then we'll hit R2 and submit. And we'll jump over to the PS5. Go ahead and select Spectre. Give it a few minutes here. It should pop up with a message asking us if we're ready. Once it does, go ahead and hit X on it. And there you go. We're waiting for that elf loader. And as you can see, it is on the same port, 9020. That was the reason why we closed the, the Blu-ray one is because you can't have two ports open at the same time. So once that's done, we can go ahead and jump back over to the computer. Okay, so now that we're over to the computer, we're going to go ahead and drag over our FTP. Drag that over. And I'm going to do this in real time so you can see it. So let's jump back over to the PS5. Okay, so we'll go ahead and hit eject payload. And we should get a message indicating that it is uh, the FTP is listening as well as the IP address and the port there. So it's 1337. Now we can go ahead and jump back to the computer. Okay, so now that we're over to the computer, we can go ahead and open up our file Zilla. And we'll go ahead and put that IP address in. Mine's 10.0.0.229. And the port was 1337. Go ahead and hit connect. And we'll say okay to that. And from there, we'll jump down to our system X folder, go into the RNPS and the apps, and we'll scroll down to 40169. As you can see, it is empty in here, but if we jump over to our desktop here, um, you scroll up here, desktop, and we'll go into our PS5 kit. And we'll jump into that folder and we'll select them all and hit upload. Okay, and as you can see, they did go over. Um, you can do a refresh just to confirm that they're there. But uh, other than that there, we are pretty much done here. We can go ahead and jump over to the PS5 now. Okay, so now we're over, back over to the PlayStation. We can go ahead and hit our PlayStation button just to get out of there. We're going to go ahead and power off the PS5. Now, with our FTP being uh, persistent, it will uh, it will do a crash, but uh, we'll just rebuild the database when it does come up. So we'll go ahead and power it off. And once it does completely power off, we will uh, go ahead and hold in the PlayStation power button until we hear that first beep. Okay, so with the PS5 off, we'll go ahead and 
press and hold our power button. And we're just going to wait for that first initial beep. Um, once that happens, we can go ahead and release the power button. And it should prompt us with a message to plug in our controller with a USB cable. So we'll go ahead and plug that in, and then we'll turn on the controller with the power button. From there, we're going to jump down to option number five, clear cache and rebuild database. Then go ahead and select number two for rebuild database. And we'll say OK to it. Give it a few moments here to boot up, and it should start rebuilding our database. Okay, we should start seeing something here any moment now. There we go, our PlayStation logo. And there's our rebuilding database. Goes pretty quick. Okay, and once we go ahead and get logged in here, we should see our browser. Go ahead and hit our PlayStation button again to turn on the controller and log in. And there we go. There's our internet browser. Go ahead and open it up. And it's already set to Lethal's host, so it should load. From there, we can go ahead and manually add in whichever host we want. Uh, echo stretch 7 and 1.site. Go ahead and hit R2 for done. And we'll jump over here to go. There we go. But yeah, guys, that's basically it for the video. Just wanted to jump on, show you that. I hope you did enjoy it. Go ahead and share the video. Go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.